Hey guys, it's me Komasan and welcome to FNAF Weekly, where we cover the weekly FNAF news. So, this is April 14th to 19th, because as of today, it is the 19th, and I'm recording this on a Friday. And we'll just go over some of the stuff that has happened, toys, merchandise, game news, all that stuff. So, let's begin. So, we got some new Funko stuff. A exclusive pop figure of the puppet floating, featuring a new mold, releasing later this year alongside the previous reported Withered Golden Freddy pop figure. So, if you're looking forward to a exclusive new pop figure of the puppet, uh, it's coming later this year with a Withered Golden Freddy figure. It's not stated where, where it's going to be exclusive from, but uh, it's got to wait for that, I, I guess. We also got a, another uh, pop figure. It's an Amazon, Amazon exclusive Moonlight Freddy pop figure has been revealed. And honestly, I have no idea who Moonlight Freddy is. I'm not sure if it's from that mobile game, but I never heard of this version of Freddy before. If you guys know what version of Freddy this is, tell me in the comments below because I have no idea who this is. Like, the core design, I guess. It gets a nice purple outside on it. It gets really bright eyes. So it's 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 cool looking, but I have no idea who this animatronic is. Yeah, we also got more Funko stuff. Funko released a lot of stuff this week. Or just announced a lot of stuff. So Funko is also having a GameStop exclusive, which is a 16 inch Circus Baby Plus has been revealed. It's really nice looking, it's kind of cute, way better than the Plus Baby's design, as Plus Baby is terrifying, but this design is very cute looking, it's 16 inches, so it's pretty big, so if you want to pick that up at GameStop, go ahead. Also, we got some news for the next, the next Hex Wave, which is, I think Daco, like, is his plusy company or something, which, if you guys don't know what Hex are, they're very cool plusies, they're like, basically magnetic, and you can like, switch body parts and stuff with the other uh, plushies you get from the hex line which is very very cool and it's just it's such an amazing they also look very cute it's Daco is oh my god it's it's just awesome so hex will release the next uh, five nights at freddy's wave in late april to early may so basically end of this month basically so the launch will include plushies of withered golden freddy spring trap and withered chica i find it kind of odd why they added spring trap because uh, i'm not sure if he, Daco has the other withered animatronics, but Swing Trap with uh, uh, FNAF 2 animatronics is very weird looking at, but they are very cute looking. I really like uh, Withered Chica, like how whole jaw is like open stuff. It's gonna be so cool to see what people do with these, and it's they're so cute, man. You cannot lie that they aren't cute, so I'm very, very happy that Daco is doing this, or Hex, or whoever owns Hex is doing more of them because they're very cool, but they are expensive. They're very expensive. So we also got some brand new FNAF news, which is for FNAF Help Wanted 2, which is releasing its flat mode, which basically means no VR, you don't need a VR to own it, on June 20th, 2024. So next month, wait, April, May, in two more months, basically, uh, we will be able to play this game without having to have a VR headset, which is going to be awesome for us that don't actually own one. And if you already own the title, you don't it's not you don't have to pay anything for the additional cost which this is some pretty big news if you are a help wanted 2 fan and you just wanted to play it i wanted to play it but i i'm too poor i can't afford a vr headset but it's coming out i'm pretty sure it's ps5 and xbox no yeah model con i don't think it's coming to nintendo switch to be honest but like the next gen consoles practically in pc is going to be getting the flat mode for this and if it's like last time with uh help wanted we might get some teasers in game of some new stuff happening maybe towards the next game maybe some other stuff maybe a teaser for a dlc coming to this game we don't know but i have a feeling that might happen because still World loves doing stuff with we releases of the games and stuff so or just updates in general so we very we gotta look we gotta look into this a little bit and i don't know if this is gonna get a mobile port like uh help wanted one i don't think they are because that's a lot of work on them to be honest and it's very expensive to do stuff like that and i'm not sure how much people actually bought the mobile version of help wanted so maybe something along the lines will come but i honestly have no idea but this is amazing news for us that don't own a vr headset so we can actually enjoy the game we also got a big announcement for a fan game and 
It's called Fazbear 64, a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game directed by the GOAT himself, Darko. So it is described as an N-Universe Nintendo 64 title developed by Fazbear Entertainment. With the spirit possessing the machine is now abandoned and then now abandoned for the Fazbear's pizzeria. So we got an, an image of like, it looks like in like you know how if you ever go to a dentist basically and they have all, all just like a mcdonald's or something like that basically they used to have these machines or like there's a screen and the remote control pops out of it and you can just play the game or whatever when i was a kid i used to play on these like at the dentist office or something but basically that's what the, the thing looks like got Freddy fazbear in the middle we got pizza slices we got custom there's like basically controller holders I'm very interested in what this game is going to be. I'm not a big fan of Nintendo 64s games because everybody does it and it's kind of getting unoriginal at this point. But it's from Darko, so I I believe it's going to be great, especially if it comes from Darko. I really like Darko's stuff. He makes great music. He's an entertaining person. And I'm interested in why he's directing a game this time. Is he, like, going to be like Markiplier? Is he going to make a movie one day? I'm not sure. I doubt that will happen, but... I love seeing FNAF Quator is doing something new and creative with their platform, and... This game, I'm very interested in what it's going to be about, so... What's the gameplay going to be like? It's probably going to be like a probably creepypasta-esque, like, you know, how those games normally are. Like, everything's normal at first, and things get crazy and crazy and crazy. But... That's pretty much all the FNAF news. We got a lot of good stuff. We got new Hex. We got new, we got next line of Hex plushies, which is Willow the Golden Freddy, Spring Trap, and Willow Chica. We got new Funko stuff. We got a uh, new puppet figure that's floating and a uh, reported Withered Freddy, a uh, Golden Freddy pop figure. Uh, a Moonlight Freddy pop figure that's Amazon exclusive. And also tell me in the comments, please tell me who that is from, because I do not know who Moonlight Freddy is. We got a new baby doll that's four, 16 inches tall, and it's gonna be GameStop exclusive. And we got some, we got FNAF 2 flat mode, and we got Darko's new game. So this week wasn't as intense as last week because we did get a lot of FNAF 2 movie news, but this game was just community based stuff. A lot, a lot of new merchandise, big things announced for FNAF 2, for FNAF uh, Help Wanted 2, and some fan game stuff behind. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I will cover the news next week. And tell me in the comments below who Moonlight Footy is, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.